Welcome to this short demonstration on some of the highlights of what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2009, starting with the user interface. The Measure tool now supports dual dimensions. Check out the new magnifying glass tool that lets you zoom into your work without a lot of unnecessary pan and zoom commands. You can now change view orientations just by clicking on an axis on the triad in the graphics area. A double click on the mouse wheel zooms to fit. SOLIDWORKS 2009 now supports dual monitors. The task pane, command manager, and property manager can be undocked and moved to a second screen. Now for some sketch enhancements. Sketch dimensions now support negative values. And also zero values. Sheet metal. We can now convert any solid part to a sheet metal part just by picking on the faces and the edges that are to be bent. All the rips, bends, relief, and flat patterns are automatically calculated. In drawing mode, you can now create jogs on any dimension. Fillet and chamfer dimensions can be dragged and dropped to multiple locations or to other locations that carry the same size and radius. Similarly, Whole callout dimensions can be moved to different pattern instances. Notes can be edited and dynamically moved by XY coordinates or with snap increments. The new title block editor let you establish live fields to dynamically edit on the graphics screen without having to go into edit sheet format mode. You can specify the parameters, parameters to be edited. Simple double click allows the edits and those values propagate back to the drawing or to the model as custom properties. In assembly mode, SOLIDWORKS now supports a bill of materials, directly in the assembly. The assembly bomb can be positioned and sized anywhere on the graphics area, can be saved as an external file and printed, and can even be opened in its own window. Notice the bidirectional interactivity. When we click on a component in the bomb, it highlights in the graphics area. Custom properties can be edited in the bill of material, and those edits propagate back to the file's custom properties. Here we'll make a live edit to the dimensional values on this shield. And you'll see the dimensions update in the bill of material simultaneously.
Assembly features can now be created so that they propagate to the part level. Here we're creating a cut extrude in one of the, the parts and we can choose now to have that feature propagate down to the part level.